quite a rainy day and I'm excited about it. <laughs> and don't worry, give me time and I'll be sick of it, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. We need it. I think we need it everywhere, right? So I just finished recording a Get Ready With Me and I am thinking it's going to be a standalone video because it was kind of long. We tried a brand new eyeshadow palette with this and I'm thinking you will have already seen it or you'll see it coming up next week. Anyway, that was a lot of fun and man oh man you guys, what a surprise it was to be completely bowled over, very thrilled with this eyeshadow palette that I found on Amazon. I, you'll, you'll, I, I guess I shouldn't say too much. You'll have to watch the Get Ready With Me, but um, there was a reason I purchased it, very specific reason, and uh, I'm thrilled with it. I would say for the price point, it's amazing. I think at any price point, this palette blew my mind. And I use Natasha Denona, Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know, and yeah, I, I'm thrilled with it. I will see how it wears through the day. I do have an eyelid primer on. I have my favorite Selena Gomez, pure, um, I mean, rare beauty. I love that eyelid primer. So, so I am wearing that and that will help with longevity and creasing and all of that. Anyway. Wow, I'm trying out my heated steering wheel for the first time. And my heated seats for that matter. I love heated seats. It just makes my back feel really nice. I am headed to Sephora to return two items that I purchased yesterday that I don't like. Um, One is called Glowish by uh, Huda Beauty. It's just not for me. It's not for the age of my skin. It just did not work well. You know, you don't have to use that product as an all over product. You can use it just in certain places almost to give you this glow. Or you could even put a drop in your, your um, foundation to bump up that. But I, I don't know, I just decided to take it back. It's not that I hate it. I didn't give it a fair shot when it comes to using it in all those different fun ways, but um, I have other ways to sort of bring up the glow if my, um, it's so bumpy through here, if my foundation gives me too flat of a finish, I have ways to do that already, so, you know, to bring it up a bit. So I'm bringing that back. And then the other one that I'm bringing back that I really got way too light for my skin, but I also, honestly, I just wasn't happy with the way the finish looked on my skin. And that is the really popular Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's it called? Beauty, beautiful skin or something like that. So I'm taking that back as well. And I, I barely used it. I always hate, I don't know, I hate taking back stuff that I've already tried, but how else are you gonna know? So doing that, I'll probably browse around. Um, I'll probably browse around a little bit before I leave. But then my, uh, I'm gonna lower my heater a little bit. I think I'm also going to take down my heated seats to low and I actually don't need the heated seat to be on in the passenger side it's warming up my purse and that's about it Today, the foundation that I decided to dig out because I have not used it in a long time is the Bare Minerals 24 Hour Foundation. The color might be a tiny little bit off. It has a little bit of a sort of a beigey, well, no, not even that. It's, it's more of a um, kind of an orange background, not, it's just a little bit off. But I really think it's pretty. The coverage is nice, it's buildable. It gave me a bit of a flatter finish than I like. So to counteract that, I, do I wanna go the back way? Yeah, maybe, no, let's not. To 
to counteract that, I went ahead, oh God, and used, there's a guy there doing something weird. Um, but that's okay, because to counteract that, I like to use a little bit of the Laura Mercier finishing powder, just kind of right here, as I kind of showed in my Get Ready With Me, and it's that, um, oh gosh, I remembered it when I recorded. Why can't I think of the name of it now? I can't think of the name of it now. It's very pretty. Roads are going to be a little slick. We've had a couple of days of rain like this. Um, my son said it was quite slippery the very first day we got a good rain because of all the oil on the road. It should be better now, but I'm going to be cautious just to be safe. be the first this will be the first uh, winter fall season what have you for me with my car now if it snows or gets icy I'll be driving my Lexus because that baby is a beast a beast in the snow it's the it's like a 2009 RX 350 and my lord that thing it is my count on for inclement weather like that. It got me through last winter like you would believe. We had a lot of snow for us last year. I mean, it was a lot of snow. And I uh, got caught in a snowstorm kind of on the freeway and headed home from my daughter's house. And it was fantastic. So I do have that car for times like that. And because it's, you know, Lexus, a, a Toyota, the engine, if I take care of it, is going to last us a very good long time. So, that's my plan. I need to get it in to get the brakes replaced. That's going to cost a fortune. I am waiting still to hear back from the pain clinic so I can schedule that procedure for those sort of, there's an actual name for it, but it's kind of a nerve block situation for back pain. It's very precise and it's certain that just, you know, we hope that we get it in the right place where we need it. But I haven't heard anything yet. It's only Tuesday. But they did let me know that I would probably hear something by the end of last week to make an appointment, but they must be busy or they haven't heard back from my insurance company quite yet. Am I allowed? I think I better get in this lane. And then I think I can get into this lane. Anyway, my back is really screaming at me right now. Um, we are going to be going to show in November. Uh, hopefully the whole family's going. My son-in-law, Ibrahim, is a huge car fanatic. I mean, he really knows his stuff and he goes to most all the car shows. So we're going to go, we're going to meet them and we're going to go to the car show with them. And I think my other daughter and her husband are also going, I think. So I was hoping maybe to get this procedure done because there's it's actually kind of a three appointment procedure um, I was hoping to maybe have it done and hopefully it be successful before the car show because I just know that I'm not gonna be able to hang in there very long and walk around and stand and all of that I think I'm gonna be in some serious agony reason why I'm exploring these procedures is because it's affecting in a big way my quality of life and I just am not willing to do narcotics you know and get into the whole opioid thing or opiate um, thing that scary scary path I think to go on 
If I were in my 70s, I would be like, give me whatever. I mean, I don't care at this point if I get addicted. But, you know, I just am um, hoping I can avoid that path at all costs. So when he explained to me this treatment, I thought, okay, that sounds a little horrifying, but yet I'm interested. I, I'm a pretty tough girl. I'll try something like, you know, I'll, I'll be fine with that. I will be a little bit anxious about it, of course, but, um, you know, heck, I have three epidurals, you know, having my three kids, I'll be fine. You know that you're at the top of your, what your, you know, your chronic pain is up there when you're willing to be okay with, you know, like, oh, actually, I'm going to get in this lane. When you're willing to, to have someone stick a needle in your spine. He says it's very um, close to the, it's not like they have to go in deep or anything. This heated steering wheel is really nice. It's, it doesn't get too hot. The one that I had in our really new Lexus, we had a brand new Lexus, um, not the 2009 one that I was telling you about, but it, it didn't take long and I like, whoa, I need to take this off and it, it would get really hot. Uh, this one is nice cozy. It, it kind of keeps it at this nice cozy thing going on there. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but I have decided that if we have vlogs, they will always be on a Sunday. They're not going to be every Sunday, but you, when we do have them, they will be on a Sunday. So, because that's just to me, I, so many of you said, I, I don't care what you do, but I do, I kind of like them on Sunday. And it's a good day for me too, because it allows me enough time to gather material and get it together and I can upload it in plenty of time for Sunday. And I like to watch vlogs on Sunday as well. So that's the plan. All right, so I thought I would show you guys what I got sitting here in my car while it's raining. I didn't wear a coat today, but I have this kind of heavier sweater, so I'm totally fine. You know, one of the great things about being a wig wearer is the rain doesn't affect your hair. Unless it's pouring, obviously it's gonna get soft and wet, but um, yeah, it actually helps to deal with any flyaways. And it's just like, you just kind of fluff it up, and you're good to go. My God, I could never go out in the rain with my regular hair. It, it would just, ah, oh, gosh, anyway. So, remember I was telling you that I needed a new oil cleanser, well, I did see this one online. I do love the Tatcha oil cleanser a lot. This one was um, one that I had seen. It's a Japanese line. The, the, the line is, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this right. It's called Sulwasu. I don't know if you're gonna see that. Probably not. Anyway, this is a gentle cleansing oil. I looked at it online and looked at the ingredients and it's really nice. So. I'm going to try this one just to change things up a bit and it was $10 cheaper and I have no you get about the same I think the other is like around six ounces as well this one's closer to seven ounces it's at 6.76 fluid ounces so I'm gonna be trying that the other thing that I found that I have had in my cart on multiple occasions just never actually pressed the button, you know, and never actually purchased it, is by Cora Organics, and it's a noni oil for the eye area. And I love, actually prefer pressing in really pretty oils that'll absorb really nice, that aren't real heavy, around the eye area to moisturize and to feed the skin there. So, really excited about this. Now, this is quite small, but this is going to last a good long time. You literally just use a tiny little drop. You could actually make a drop go a long way for both eyes. This is real itty bitty small, but like I said, it's going to last a very long time. So that'll be nice to have in my sort of choices, you know, because I do like to feed my skin different ingredients, just like with diet and um, I'll pick and choose kind of, you know, so this would be nice to have in my arsenal. That's nothing. All right, so 
I had to bite the bullet and I've waited too long to take back my mistake, which I didn't realize that my favorite mascara, the Idol by Lancome, actually also comes in a waterproof version. I just didn't know that. So I grabbed one and realized I have been using the non-waterproof and I prefer it because I have used the waterproof a few times. And you know what, even the ingredient deck, I prefer it in the non-waterproof. There's no silicones in the, the non-waterproof. Um, it actually flakes less than the waterproof version through the day. I have very little to no flaking with this. So even though it was, it's very new still, you know, I decided to get the one that I really liked. So I did. This was an impulse buy. Um, you know how I prefer to contour my face and my cheeks and then do something a little lighter for the color. Well, I do love Hourglass in general. I have one of their bronzers that's like a baked swirly bronzer. It's beautiful. So I went ahead and bit the bullet <laughs> and got one of their sort of baked blushes and this one is called diffused heat and i was able to try it out it's so soft so pretty um i think it'll be a really pretty one to have it's just it is a a really soft sort of color and i'm really into that lately so um and the packaging to this is gorgeous you know so I went ahead and got one of those. I actually had another one I was gonna get two, and I'm like, wait, no, 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 Jill. These, these, these aren't cheap. No, 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 we're not getting two. You need to pick your favorite. So we got that. All right. Oh, I'm tempted to go to the grocery store. Yikes, that is not fun. But I really wanna get some Italian mild ground sausage. I make a Italian sausage kale soup that I love and today is the perfect day to make it. However, I have everything for it, including the kale, but I don't have the Italian sausage. Dang it, I wonder if Target has Italian sausage, probably not. Nothing good. I know, I know Safeway has the kind of sausage that I love. How oh, dare I go there? It's just right over here. If you have been watching me, you know how I detest to go inside and go grocery shopping. Um, I usually get really dizzy because the lighting sucks and I don't know, I just hate it so much. Words can't express how much I hate it. I'm not going to go to Safeway because I'm in the wrong lane for that. <clears throat> My body just shoots me as far away from grocery stores as it can. <laughs> well, I might go to Hagen's. I think I will because I really want to make that soup. So hopefully I'll get a... So I think I will go to the grocery store. Let me think of... I'll just take my time. I'm, I'll be in there. I'll just take my time. I'll go up and down the aisles, get stuff that I've not been getting because I haven't been wanting to go grocery shopping. I still do delivery and I always tell myself, Jill, you need to stop doing that because I tip $10 plus it costs $10 to get it delivered. So that's $20 above and beyond. It's like, Jill, what are you doing? It's so worth it to get it delivered to my doorstep. And I literally just take the bags on the house. I guess we'll do that. And Hagen's is tolerable. Totally tolerable. The lighting isn't super bright. It's pleasant. If, if there ever was a pleasant grocery store experience, Hagen's is my choice. And it's also so easy to jump on the freeway. It's just right next to the freeway. Super easy. It's very convenient that way. You know, we have a grocery store so close to our actual house. I still prefer Hagen's actually. Oh, there is one more item that I do have that should be in my purse. I better check before I get too far away from the store. It is the Patrick Star. He has his own line. I absolutely love him. I have not tried any of his products yet though. So I'm really excited to give it a go. 
So I got one of the concealers in his line. It's like, yes, please. It's supposed to be buttery. I'm about that. I don't want anything dry and icky on my creepy eye tissue. So. Ew, shoot. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, when I park here, I'm gonna check and make sure I do, do have that. <clears throat> Cause I didn't get a bag. I opted just to stick everything in my purse. Don't mind me, I'm just driving around, not knowing what I'm doing. It's like sometimes I have to do a run through and scout things out and then I'll commit to parking somewhere. I think I'm gonna park right here. All right, guys. I'm actually doing it. I'm going in a grocery store. It's a miracle. Okay, it's raining much harder now. <laughs> Got a little drenched out there. Okay, you guys, you'd be so proud of me. I actually did some grocery shopping in the actual grocery store. What do you know? Yeah. I'm proud of myself. I did even call my husband from in the store. And uh, he didn't pick up. So I was getting ready to basically leave. I wanted to know if he wanted anything. I did think of getting him this one thing that I know he's wanted. Um, I got, I was panicking because they, I didn't see any mild Italian ground sausage. And I thought, my God, that's why he came in here. I'm telling you, all the stores everywhere are not, you know, they're, they're just not stocked like they used to be. And it's, and, you know, may, we've all felt the increase in the, the rise in cost in food. It blows my mind. So, that's done. And I managed to not do too much because, honestly, I hate taking in. I'm such a, I'm such a turd. I hate taking in the bags, you know, and it's raining and whatnot. So, um, I only have two bags to carry and I can do that one trip. I'm gonna come go home and make my kale soup. Yummy. Oh guys, I did find the Patrick um, Star concealer in my purse. I wasn't finding it. I was panicking going, gosh dang it, do I need to go back? But it was down there. <laughs> I found it. So yeah, I've been wanting to try that for quite a while. Is this my exit? Goodness Lord, yes it is. The trees finally are turning here. We're starting to see real fall going on. We've got reds and yellows and it's very pretty. The leaves though, oh boy. Oh boy, the leaves. We have a lot of trees around our house, which is pretty, but <laughs> oh, the leaves to be picked up. There is a painting company. They live right here. Their sign is out front. It's like a family-owned thing. And when I, you know, first got the house that we're in, the entire home was mint green. Entire, entire place. The, the owner painted every single room mint green. I kid you not. And so I'm like, we're not even moving in. We're not moving a stick of furniture in this place until I get these walls painted or I'm just, I'm gonna be miserable. So I had these people over here come out and give me a quote. What a joke. I mean, they way outbid, way outbid. And I knew I knew it and um, so when he emailed me their you know sort of like their quote thing I said yeah we're gonna have to rethink this I said you know I'm, I'm gonna have to paint some of these rooms I guess myself and you anyway, know I never heard back from him 
I also asked because they also are sort of a, a general contractor kind of thing and um, they do remodeling and I wanted to do something to my fireplace and I wanted to bring my cupboards <clears throat> like a faux. I wanted to kind of look like they went all the way to the top of the ceiling in the kitchen and never got back to me. So my son has a, just a really super good friend that he's grown up with that is a painter. And it became now very last minute because we were set to move in and I thought, oh God, what I, I, this sucks so bad, you know. So it was a long shot and so I, I emailed him and um, bless his heart, he was able to squeeze me in. He quoted me what he would quote anybody else because I told him, I don't want any deals because you know me, you know, this is his own business. He needs to make what he needs to make. He came in. He saved me $6,000. That's how much that other guy overbid us. He saved us $6,000 and he painted the ceilings, all the walls. He did a great job um, and he got it done. He got it done before we moved in. So be careful. He told me, he said, painters are the worst when it comes to ripping people off. He said, yeah, he goes, I, I know. He, he knows he's in the industry and he knows uh, and he used to work for a painting company and they would overbid and, and he said, yeah, it's, it, it, it can be really bad. So yeah, be careful. All right, I'm gonna pull into my garage. I'm gonna make a big deal about that every time. It's a big deal that I can actually park a car in our garage. We cleaned it out. I've never, I haven't been able to park a car in the garage for years in any place we've lived in because we have too much crap. So this is a big deal. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to sign off. And if this is the end of this vlog, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.